Hi, I had a buddy just call me up and ask me about the vacuum pump on his truck. His was actually just, it was always running. So I figured I'll cover everything and just try to go over it real quick. Just try to encompass the whole vacuum system. Well, the part out here and what's commonly goes bad and what I find wrong with them. So the main thing, I guess if your pump's not running, what you can do to see if it's, if it's capable of running is if you pull this off, that'll get your vacuum and it'll start going. There's a vacuum line here. It's, it's a splice that feeds the inside, so you can do that. Now, if it's not running, your key's on. Remember, always key on. Just check for power and ground. So we'll take it. Right now, I have my test light hooked up to the negative. I'll touch it here on the, uh, the bottom one, the black with the orange stripe. It might be green with an orange stripe, but anyhow, I check it. I have power. Now, to check for ground, I'll just take my test light. Put it on the positive and check the other side so I have power and ground so and, and that's I never find a bad fuse in these so I doubt if you're going to find that I just want to cover it so now we have power and ground we can hook it up here and then the pumps running and what I want to do is cover on the diagnosis of it so I'm gonna shut it off for a second so I can talk over it the um, by far, almost all of them, you're going to find this vacuum line off. The, uh, this goes to your heater control valve. Most trucks have them. Some of them don't. Some of your standard or your work trucks, they won't have it. And it just goes right here to a nipple on the evaporator case. So it'll go back on there. That's, you're gonna, like, again, you find these, most of these off. I get a lot of people, the trucks come in, and I'll see this connected up here. And it does look like it would fit up there up here to where the actuator to where the um, the rod is and goes on but that's not the correct place the correct place is in front here there's a vacuum port and that's where it goes so take it and plug it in there and that's that's how it works that's how it goes this heater control valve when working properly it'll shut the hot water off and let your air conditioning it won't the, the so the hot water quits flowing it lets the air conditioning work a little bit better by not having hot water inside the case here but anyhow, now back to diagnosing it if you if you have a problem or it's always running. Again, by far the vast majority is going to be that line off or this broken somewhere inside here. The line broke. If you have, well, let's get this one going here. First thing what I'll do is if it's always running, this is your vacuum reservoir. The, the pump's running here and it goes over here and it tees off. What I did was I disconnected it right here at the T. At, that's the quickest place. And as I put my finger over it, it shuts off. So that tells me the pump's capable of working. As soon as it can draw down to the desired, um, the vacuum that it wants to get, it'll shut off. So I know that works. So that's my first thing, is the pump capable of working. So I connect the, the vacuum back up here on the reservoir. And then the next thing I want to check is we'll plug it here wait a few minutes and see if it shuts off. It'll probably take like maybe 30 seconds. You can actually hear the pump starting to labor. The pitch of it's changing as it draws down. It's taking a while because it has to fill this the vacuum reservoir back up. So that will take again 30 seconds, minute, depending on how bad your pump's worn out. So we'll let it draw down. And if you have a four-wheel drive unit, one of the things I want to cover here, this is for if you have the four-wheel drive with the automatic hubs. What the vacuum does, it splits off after it goes to the vacuum here. It'll tee off and go into your four-wheel drive. Into the, when, you, when you put it in to tell it to lock the hubs, it, what it does is it applies power here and lets the vacuum flow through this line and down to your hubs. There we go. It's shut off in there all by itself. So anyhow, if the if you I have had a few of these that leak. So if you put your finger over this and you hold it off, the um, now we know that all the other systems good as far as the uh, that we have the the pumps able to work, the vacuum reservoir is good, the four wheel drive unit sealed. If it never shuts off, we have to look for a vacuum leak here, and every now and then I will find a leak at the four wheel drive at the, here at the um, at the actuator for that. So anyhow, now that we put the um, we do this, we can. Let a little bit of air out, vacuum out, and see that it works. 
hook it back up and see if it draws down and shuts off. Should just take a second here and it'll, it'll get to the desired vacuum. Now if it doesn't shut off, again we want to look for a leak here. And we'll start checking for a crack in here. It's usually here in the gray hose that's going out to the valve. The rub here underneath the uh, boost sensor or on the case have a crack or somewhere. And a lot of times you can hear it too. But as you see this one came down. So pretty much that's how the system works. Again we have power just the 12 volts power and ground to the pump with a key on. We have it going to fill up the reservoir. From there it tees off. It goes here to the four wheel drive. And if you want to test your four wheel drive unit just as far as if it's leaking there, it's rare, but they will happen. It's kind of the same thing, just pull it off. And just do the same trick with your finger over it. The red one's a source. Because if you did everything else, you couldn't find a leak, and you suspect this valve leaking. And, and like I said, sometimes they will. Just put your finger over the red here. Let it draw down, which it will in a second. And then that way you can, if everything else seems sealed but it wasn't stopping, then you know that your problems here in this valve is leaking. And also another way to test this is if you wanted to pull it off and splice in, you can see if there's anything coming through here when it's plugged in. It's a little bit harder to do, but most of them pretty much, you'll be able to find it here with just these few simple tests. So again, to cover what's going on, vacuum pump to the reservoir, splices off. This, the black one here will go feed inside, go through the blend doors and controls, depending on which uh, options you have, and then come back out from the inside and feed the heated control valve. 99% of them, just the gray lines either cracked or off. So pretty much that's how you go about diagnosing and fixing the vacuum um, system on these trucks. Thank you.